fitness focused February. This is day three of my working up for 30 days straight challenge. I'm dying. I mean, it was fun. It was really, really fun. Hey guys, it's day three of Fit February. Today we're doing a really fun dance workout. So don't make fun of me too much. I'm not a dancer, but it seems fun. I love Greatest Showman. If you're curious, this is gonna be MK Fit. She has tons of fun cardio dance workouts that I'm trying out this month. So I'll give you my review at the end of the video, but here's day three. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Lauren. I'm on a journey to lose 150 pounds. I'm currently 60 pounds down after following the WW Blue Plan for over a year and I'm starting the next phase of my health journey, which includes getting back into fitness and exercise. This is day three of my working out for 30 days in a row challenge and it's also my very first experience doing a HIT workout. If you're new to HIT like I am, it stands for High Intensity Interval Training. It is a training technique that uses intense bursts of exercise followed by shorter active recovery periods. It gets your heart rate up and is supposed to burn more fat in less time. I wanted to try HIT because it is a really efficient workout. You can complete the entire workout in 20 to 30 minutes, working out your full body with cardio with minimal to no equipment needed. Today I'm trying MK Fit here on YouTube. Her channel link is in the description below. She has tons of free hit workouts. Many are dance based and to really fun, popular or Broadway style music, which I find really entertaining and fun while I'm working out. Today's workout she divided into two videos, the warm up and then the hit portion, which includes four songs from the Greatest Showman movie soundtrack. But each song has two dance combinations that rotate. You repeat them multiple times over the course of each song. I really enjoyed it being repetitive because it helped me to keep up and learn the moves. She also offers a lot of low impact alternatives throughout her videos. Today I wanted to share a look at how I did my first time trying HIT as someone over 300 pounds with around 100 pounds left to lose on my weight loss journey, at least. I'm showing one repetition of each combination at regular speed so you can get the full idea of how I did. Make sure you stick around after the workout to hear my full thoughts on this MK Fit workout, how I felt doing it, and more about my upcoming fitness plans. Feel free to also check out in the description. I always place timestamps if you need to jump around or revisit a section of the video. Hey, if you enjoy seeing me try new workouts and fitness-based challenges, please hit the like button so I know to keep trying new things here on my channel. Also, if you enjoy following weight loss content, healthy meal planning, prepping, grocery hauls, workouts and fitness, and a fun, positive environment where we support one another on our health goals, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join our community here on my channel. All right, guys, we made it through the warm up. Now let's get moving. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go place where you can't be the victim and come back when you're older go catch the storm within your broken bones and be wild 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 wild, 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 wild. 
Like I was saying, guys, this is day three of my working out for 30 days straight challenge. <sighs> that was a rough one. I mean, it was fun. It was really, really fun. It was to all Greatest Showman um, music. Uh, that was MK Fit. I'll link her channel down below in the description, but also over the course of this 30 days, I'm going to be trying out different YouTube channel fitness people. And I'm going to do a separate YouTube workouts favorites video. So that'll be coming up in March after I get through this month and evaluate everything and see what I like and try out a bunch of stuff. But I really enjoyed her. So my first time doing it, that was my very first time, guys. I haven't done any of those combinations or anything like that before. I think I accidentally said dance workout. It's hit workouts. So high intensity workouts. They train lots of different um, muscle groups in your body all at one time at a quick speed. So it's cardio too. So it's like it's quick though. Like it was a 20 minute workout and like, I feel no need to do additional, like walking on a treadmill afterwards or needing more weights or anything. It was like a really efficient, quick workout. It was not easy, but I will say she did offer some good low impact is what she called alternatives. Um, I did a little bit of both and it's hard. I just watched, I shouldn't have. I just watched back the footage of me trying out this workout. I swear guys, I get into a zone when I'm editing my videos and like my mindfulness of whether I'm embarrassed or not just kind of goes out the window because I'm just like reviewing things and trying to make good content and I like almost get out of my own head about how I look on film. Oh, but when I sit down and watch myself do a workout, especially something that's like a dance workout, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I'm gonna post this on the internet for everyone to see. This month's gonna be hard doing that. It's gonna be hard to watch myself, oh, do things that I'm struggling through or not great at. I'm very competitive with myself. And, um, but I watched it. I know where I started. I'm gonna have this footage in this video to look back at. And I think at the end of my 30 days, I'm gonna do this again and see, use it kind of as a measure to my cardio where I'm at. Um, I know it looked like I quit at the end, 
I, I mean, I didn't. I did all of the combinations up until that stop point. And then what I did was there was one round of that combination left and I just did step touches because I felt like my heart was beating out my chest. I just had to like start my cool down. Um, and that's okay to know your limits and take it slow when you get started and build your way up. So I'm gonna use that as kind of like a benchmarker for where I am now and uh, I know where I wanna be. And we'll see in 30, well, a little bit less than 30 days because I'm gonna do it around the 30 day mark. It'll be my, well, I'll make it my final workout of this challenge. And then who knows, maybe in six months, I will do the same one again and do little side-by-side -side comparisons. And I just, I look forward to, and I'm excited about thinking about my growth in the future. And even for things like this, just improving, it's not about, again, it's not all about numbers on a scale and what size clothes I'm in and how my body looks. I need to improve my cardio health. You know, I carry a lot of weight around my midsection and for someone who has cancer and heart disease in her family history, that's not good. So um, those are definitely areas of my health and wellness that I have in the forefront of my mind. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to do this next step of the journey. A little bit embarrassed, but mostly excited. But then I like take a minute and think about it. And why I wanted to like sit down and like vlog about it afterwards is just like, this is my first time doing any kind of workout like that in at least five or six years. Um, you know, I did some group workouts and classes and things like I've done Zumba and cardio dance classes and stuff back in college. Um, and pre wedding, I had a gym I went to with one of my friends. But after that, like I would do yoga, yoga was my safe place, my crutch, and I still like doing it. I'm not going to stop doing yoga. I enjoy it. But um, there's, there's more. <laughs> There's more to the fitness world and what I need to be doing for my body as I continue on my weight loss journey than just getting stuck in the routine of yoga and walking. So I'm glad I'm doing this challenge to kind of get out of my comfort zone. Um, I did that back when I first started Weight Watchers and I joined my gym. I was going regularly and like well for like three to four times a week um, for at least I want to say, let's see, I joined in... September, October, November, December, January, February, and then the shutdown. So about six months um, up until the gym closed for COVID. So I was going regularly. I made a new habit out of it. I really enjoyed weightlifting. Obviously, now I have different equipment. It's not weight machines, but it's nice to get back into that, and it's different. Cardio things always scare me. I've always hated cardio. I hate running. Running was always like no, never, if I could have any other option. And I don't think you need to go running to lose weight. I can lose weight by walking and doing other things. I'm glad that I'm opening my mind to trying other things though, because you never know what hidden talents you have or what you'll actually like once you try it. I'm rambling, I'm tired, my face is beet red. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna head up and go grab a shower and probably chill with Josh and then go to bed. It's been a long day, I'm tired. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, bye. bye. bye.